In general, if you're going to buy a grocery store brand pet food, dog food for your dog, think of that as the equivalent of fast food. Think of that as the equivalent of going through the drive-thru and getting something really greasy and delicious and eating it all the time. If you were to do that, what would that do to your body? What would that do to your brain? If you go to a good pet supply store, think of that usually more as a sit-down restaurant. Maybe the menu's a little bit healthier. Maybe you've got some healthy options. Maybe you've got some bad options too, but there's some healthy options there. Maybe prepared with a little more care and quality control. You can also get dog food from a distributor. And think of this as an exclusive restaurant that it could be as good as the sit-down restaurant or it could be better. It just depends. Sometimes you go to these really exclusive high-end restaurants and the steak is not any better than you could have gotten somewhere else. And you get so disappointed that you paid that much for that steak. So sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. What you want to watch for are some things in general. What is going into your dog? Is it nothing but sugar? Is it nothing but dye or fillers? If it's just a filler, it's going to go in one end and go out the other. If that's what you're feeding your dog, you could be contributing to his behavior in hyperactivity. He may be basically running on the equivalent of chocolate-covered sugar crunchies all the time. What about the protein level? Some of the brands of dog food out there have ridiculously high protein levels, and that just seems odd for the suburban dog. Most suburban dogs do not need that kind of protein level. Now, if you have an active dog that is doing lots of sports and this, that, and the other thing, or it's a working dog and it's looking for avalanche victims – Yes, higher protein makes perfect sense, but the average dog doesn't really need that much protein. 